Buddy Holly and Richie Valens are both in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But JP, the big bopper, uh, Richardson is not, and that, I think that is tragic. Hello, baby. There's a scrap metal merchant who's obsessed with the Big Bopper and wants to get him inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We had a great time meeting John at Sugar Hill where Bopper, he recorded uh, Chantilly Lace. He's a nut, you know, he's a lovable nut. Hello, baby. <laughs> oh, you sweet thing. John wrote the lyrics to the song Bopper and Me and, and I, I put some music to it and tip our hat to the Bopper. Sam, but hell bent to relight the big bopper's flame. Will I what? Will I any band that was anybody traveling through the uh, the Midwest or the United States came through uh, and played the surf. It was it was high on on the list of places that that people wanted to play. So many people came up and they told me, you know, I was here. I saw Buddy. I saw Richie. I saw the big bopper. I was here. And there's this look in their eye when they tell you that, and it's magic. When we walk into the surf, it does take us back, especially when we're dressed in our outfits. We really do feel like teenagers again. Credited for the very first music video that was ever produced, and that in itself is an incredible accomplishment. Chantilly lace had a pretty face, had a ponytail, a hanging. Everybody remembers Chantilly lace. I mean, it's one of the most popular songs, one of the favorite songs of this winter dance party weekend. We'd already heard the record, you know, to see him do it live was was a big thrill. But ultimately, he was a DJ first. And when you go back to this early time in rock and roll, being a DJ was so important. KRIB was the top 40 radio station at that time, playing all the new music, you know, getting the audience to know Buddy Holly and the uh, Big Bopper. My name is Austin Alsop. My dad was Tommy Alsop, who we lost last year. He was the guitar player for Buddy Holly on the faithful night that the music died here in Clear Lake, Iowa. It's a surf ballroom. As a pilot, I honestly believe that there was an instrumentation misunderstanding. Could have been some weather affecting the aircraft. I believe the pilot was competent in his ability and may have misinterpreted the instrument. I hadn't intended to, but early the next morning, I was impelled to go to the crash site and see it as it would have been. The weather was similar to how it was that day. Snow laid thick on the ground. The crumpled bodies were found the next morning frozen solid right here. We had to dig down three foot to find the spot. It was that deep. Only the pilot was still strapped to his seat in the mangled wreck. JP was found 500 yards away. I cried. Why? This was the day the music died. This was the end of classic rock and roll. Over time, Buddy Holly and Richie Valens were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I hope the day will come when people recognize the true contribution JP made to the movement as a whole. It's been a long journey. It wasn't the journey I expected, but it's changed me.